Hey, and we are live again. So yeah, it. <laughs> I highly doubt any of one of you were among hey, those uh, guys of me so who were yeah. watching my it's test stream with I Animal Crossing earlier today. But I, uh, uh, guys of me, for, for, in case you didn't know, I recently managed to. Uh, with Animal Crossing, I was told that you could I, uh, stream Elgato through OBS, and I was kind of confused as to why the fuck would you that you do that because they're like two completely different OBS and streaming services. But I did some fumbling around, and surprisingly, it works. It's, it's extremely convoluted, but yeah, you can totally stream Elgato through OBS and record it. Is it it's through OBS, convoluted, but yeah, which is good because you can't really do much in Elgato itself while it's working through OBS. So this is the best. So I have to record it through OBS, and El I don't even have Elgato's software open right now, but it's working just fine. Can you actually hear me? Anyone in chat? Let me know if you can hear me, because I did do a test video. <laughs> Can you in the test recording, it was anyone in chat working fine. You can hear me. Anyway, I was just fumbling around in my memory card menu. Remember these? These used to be fun. Ah. Anyway, I was just fumbling around in my and now it's time to begin the main event. We're gonna play a PS2 game again. Anyway, I was just fumbling around in my. That's the reason I don't get a new Elgato is because the new ones don't let support PS2 play, which is fucking stupid. That's the reason I don't get a new Elgato is because the new ones don't let you play support PS2 play, which is fucking stupid. That's the reason I don't get a new Elgato. My PS2 is working fine. Sometimes it takes a while to scan stuff. Yeah, you probably recognize that symbol. In fact, you well, it, my the fact that my uh, channel kind of gave it away. Yeah, you probably recognize that. Yes, SPM Scout. I know it was your birthday. I said birthday. Happy birthday to you, buddy. Yeah, you probably recognize. Yes, SPM Scout, I know, it was your birthday. I said birthday, happy birthday. Yep, we're playing the original Half-Life, oh, but not just any original Half-Life. No siree, this is the PS2 port. This is the port that no one ever plays, because every time you see people talking about Half-Life, they always use the PC port. And not to be rude, the PC port's probably very good, but this one's got some good stuff in it, too. And that's why I'm going to play it today. The PC port's probably very good, but first off, it has, a uh, stuff in it, too. What's, what you call it? The co-op campaign in the PS2 port. I'm not sure if they ever put that on PC. I, they might have. I don't know. What's, what you call it? The co-op campaign. Yeah, and it has cheats, too. <laughs> I'm not sure if they ever put that on PC. They might have. We're gonna do training first. It has cheats, too. Because I think the training is different from the original... <coughs> <coughs> We're gonna do training. the original PC version as well. Because I think the training is different from the Of course, being the PS2 version, there is going to be more loading. <laughs> because that's the, the one thing we don't miss about well. PlayStation 2. Of course, being the PS2 version, there is going to be more loading. Well, at least I know the chat works. The Can you guys see the game and stuff? And, oh my god. Why do you invert things, game, you piece of shit? Why? Can you guys see the game? Jesus, and stuff? people who invert their controls are Why do you weird. invert things, game, you piece of shit? Why? Why? Can you guys see the game? Jesus, and stuff? people who invert their controls are Why do you weird. invert? There's the inversion. Things game, you piece of shit. Why? Good flashlights, triangle, reload, lock on circle, blah, 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 blah. Things game, you piece of shit. Why? Good flashlights, triangle, reload, lock on circle, blah, 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 blah. I am not playing with inverted controls. Where is my... How do I change that, you... Pile of shit. I Where am not playing with inverted controls. Where is my? How do I change that? You pile of shit. I Where am not playing with inverted. Okay, seriously, how do I uninvert the controller? I can't. I can't. I do not remember it having inverted controls. Pile of shit. I am not playing with inverted. Okay, seriously, how do I uninvert the controller? Oh my god. I do not remember it having it's inverted off. controls. Auto crouch jump. I think that's. Oh my god. Normal. I do not remember it having it's inverted off. controls. Okay, thank. Oh, praise the Lord. Jump. I think that's okay. Good. It's weird when these... Yes, overwrite the settings. We got a game stream to do, do douche. Okay. Good. It's weird when these... Okay, yeah, whatever. Yes, overwrite the settings. We got a game stream to do, do douche. Okay. We get back to the game now. Good. Okay, thank Christ. Overwrite the settings. We got a game stream to do, So, yeah, if you're a fan of this game and the tram just... 
Uh, MK, thank Christ. Okay, I'm sorry, I was thinking. So yeah, if you're <laughs> with this game, I had to throw up after the inversion, sorry. So if you played the original game, this might look different. I think it's different, at least, based on what I've seen in the Freeman's mind. It's a prologue. So if you played the original game, this might look different. I, hey, I'm talking to you. Look at me. Look at me. Oh, good morning, Gordon. Welcome to the Black Mesa training Hey, I'm talking to you. Look at me. Things are in a state of commotion Why do I have to do this? I'm just a scientist. software should be in working condition. Please listen carefully as... As there is a little paperwork to take care of before we get started. Oh, I see that you have already signed our legal disclaimer. I, Gordon Yeah, why am I doing this? I'm just a scientist, damn it. Blah, blah, blah. Not a soldier. In case of serious injury, dismemberment, toxic poisoning, burns, yeah, rashes, lesions, blah, 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 blah etc., etc. Here I agree to waive all rights as an employee of the Black Mesa. Okay, very good. And if there are no questions, then please step through this door to begin your training. Okay, fine. Okay. Good. Look over here first. And if there are no questions, then please step through this door to begin your training. Okay. Let me press the button. Look over here first. Fuck you. I, the first thing I was going to say, you might notice the character models look a bit better in this version. Although, honestly, now that I'm looking at them myself, they the first thing I was going to say, you might notice the character models look a bit okay, better in this version. That's not. Although, honestly, now that I'm looking at I mean, it's the PS2, give or take. Can you still hear me? Can you hear me talking, anyone? I mean, it's the PS2. Give it and here's Gordon's ex-girlfriend. Can you still hear me? Can you hear me talking, anyone? I mean, it's the PS2. And here's Gordon's ex-girlfriend. Can you still hear me? Can you hear me talking, anyone? I mean, it's the You can see it suspended up ahead of you. If you see one of these buttons, press it, and I will appear to demonstrate certain moves. Brackets will appear in your heads-up display around buttons and other objects that you can access. By facing them and pressing your use button. And they we're apparently seeing this on Gordon's glasses. Yeah. And unlike the original training thing, this is, we actually have a projector she's standing on. I think she was just standing on nothing last time along with the yeah. hazard suit. And unlike suit. the original training thing, this is, we actually have a projector. And now we're all in our suit now. I'm guessing we were just walking around naked previously before we got our suit. And now we're all in our suit now. I'm guessing we were just walking around naked previously before we got our suit. And now we're all in our suit now. I'm guessing we were just walking around naked previously before we got our suit. Let me jump off. I want to end my life. Gordon hates working here. Th damn it, there's some invisible magnetic field jump preventing me from committing suicide. Gordon hates working here. Th damn it, Moving around in your HEV suit can be slightly disorienting at first. Take a moment to familiarize yourself with basic movement. Yes, do, I need a special training lesson on how to move. I will see you just around the corner. Do it when you're three months old and you'll never have to worry about it ever again. Training lesson on how to Baby, why did you leave me? We were made for each other. We got the same suits. Oh, I miss you, baby. I think that's Dr. Cross or Dr. Green. We can play as both of those doctors and Half-Life Decay. I think that's Dr. Cross or Dr. Green. We can play as what both of those doctors and have. Also, we're in a high tech facility in this place. I have an echo. Oh, fucking Christ. Also, we're in a high tech facility in this place. I have an echo. Oh, fucking Christ. Also, we're in a high tech facility in this place. I have an echo. Can you hear me now? Do I still have an echo now? My stupid OBS thing might have done something. I tried turning off the desktop audio. Okay, so it's working good now? Okay, uh, can you still hear the game? Can you hear the door attempt to... Okay, okay, I think we're okay. I turned off the desktop audio on OBS, and hopefully that works. And uh, I think uh, Elgato should still be playing its uh, audio through there. What is it now? The first move we will practice in the hazard course is basic jumping. You will attempt to get over this set of pipes <laughs> using only your run and jump commands. 
It helped to get a running start. Come on, baby. Watch me and then try it yourself. Yes, the most ex dangerous of us of us. Black Mesa requirements jumping over pipes. We actually revisit this training area in Half Life Decay where it's mostly fallen apart. You will now duck under the next set of obstacles. Please note that crouching will automatically shift your suit into stealth mode. Why does this hazard suit have a stealth mode? It wasn't meant for combat, the top was it? portion of your heads up display will tell you whether you are running, crouching, or walking. Okay, so you're going to demonstrate? I can't do it without a demonstration, honey. What if I shove my face in your butt, huh? Yeah, fuck you. You were a cold bitch anyway. Very good. I hardly noticed you. Move on to the next step. Yeah, whatever. Don't you guys have anything better to do like solving world hunger? You will need to jump, duck, and then jump again. Oh no! A mixture of the two. Room, where you will have to do both moves at the same time. To get into these pipes, you'll have to signal your suit to make a duck jump. You'll yes, you have to signal right your suit in order to perform a duck jump. And that then, very complex jump programming they put into the, the suit. Button. By holding the jump button, you'll signal the suit to go into a crouch automatically. It's tricky, but you'll find it comes in handy. Freaking crouch jumps are weird. Never understood them. Nice job. Mm-hmm. And they want us to crawl through this dusty sewer pipe where we're probably gonna f crawl out and do a rock crusher like in Red Faction. Speaking of which, I think Red Faction actually got a lot of inspiration from this game. They're both quite similar. What do you... I'm stuck! I'm stuck! Ah! Oh, wait, never mind. What is it? Walk directly into the ladder, look up, and continue moving forward. If you want to come back down, just move backwards. Ah, these ladder controls are always shit. Well, Half-Life 2 fixed it by just pressing a button to magnetize to it, and then... Boom! Here, that's ladder. The next three Pardon. jumps get harder each time, but they are quite possible. Don't be surprised if you miss the last one a time or two. If you can make all three in a continuous run, you are doing well. Okay, babe. <laughs> That wasn't hard at all, Great bitch. Work. Now there's one more style of jumping you need to learn. Yeah, I own your ass, bitch. Fuck you. Yeah, I plowed that. All right, all right. I need to stop with that. Go open the door. Long jumping requires the long jump module, seen here. To activate your long jump, you will have to jump while moving forward. Then quickly press the jump Oh, goody, it's the thing we only get in the very last here. level. This the level that they initially didn't add jump. to the Black Mesa you are on the platform, unofficial press remake. The button, and I will demonstrate the move. But then they did add it because everyone was pissy. Nice job. Ah, my face! I, I broke my nose! <laughs> Why do I have to do this? I'm a researcher, damn it! <laughs> Who was that? Did someone just walk by there, or was that... It might have been the G-Man. He's all over the place. What is it now? Please start the lift by walking up to the button, looking at it, and pressing the use button. You press those buttons, it turns on a vibrator in the suit. <laughs> I'd get banned on Twitch. I'm probably gonna get banned for that joke. And here's one of the stupidest tests. There's only one way down. Find the target on the floor below and do your best to hit it. If you take any damage from the fall, we will administer medical care at the next station. Yeah, this was so stupid, the guy from Freeman's Mind didn't even do it. Ow! My ankles. And unfortunately, I signed that, that liability thing, so I'm not going to be able to sue them for this terrible training exercise. 
Ow, my ankles. You will find med kits like this one throughout the Black Mesa compound. To restore your health, walk up to a med kit and press your use button. Your health will automatically recover gradually until you are at full health or the med kit is depleted. Once the light goes out, a med kit cannot be reused. And here's something else that's cool about the PS2 version. These things got an upgrade and they have like actual animations and stuff. Really don't give the PS2 version enough credit. God, that is a shitty flashlight. Why is this area so industrial? Like, I thought this was a high-tech advanced to spin research that bridge, facility. Walk up to the control wheel and press the use button. Okay, uh... I guess this is what you wanted me to do, or is there something else? Fantastic. Uh, thank you. Does this mean you're coming back with me? Oh, goody, someone else is, someone news here. They said cacophone and said, OFC, no one cares because it has the ugly HD models. I like the HD models. I certainly hope you're not a troll, sir. Sometimes you'll need to rely on more than just your suit to get through a tight place. Try jumping this gap on your own. He said, good for you. What you really need to do is push that box down into the pit. Pushing is easy. Oh, yes. Uh, more it's highly advanced training. Pushing. Push position. Oh, oh, damn, I'm strong. If you can't push the obstacle out of the way, you might try pulling it. To pull a box, move up to it and press your use button. While holding down yeah, the yeah, we got it, sugar tip. All right, I better not say that. Back back land. The box will come along with you. Well, I wonder how we solve this. Oops. Power th thrust. Oh boy, what's he saying now? I hope you are not a troll. Liking the HD models that make every weapon very brown, very big lens, while not animating. So, are such good models for some people. I don't like your tone, mister. You're going to get me get put in time out if you don't settle down. Also, Decay has a PC port too, which is good. Yeah, okay, that's good. Oh, yeah, yeah, screw you. Why did you leave me? Why did you leave me, Dr. Cross? Duh. <laughs> Some more just average training for a researcher. Just teaching them how to use a crowbar in combat. Activate your suit flashlight for the next area. Hey, can you let me out of here? This place is kind of shitty. No? Well, fuck you, too. Open the door. Open the door! Let me out of here. Now we gotta use the crappy PS, the crappy flashlight. Almost said crappy PS2 flashlight, but it's probably. Oh boy, what's he saying there? You are not a nice person. If you put people in time out over their views, have a good day, Mister. I restrict other people's freedom as someone who is streamed as well. I cannot understand. Okay, that's it. Let's see. How do I do this? You can't just, you can't trust random people nowadays. Probably wasn't a troll. He was just saying his opinion, but now he was being kind of an asshole. So he's gone now. And he'll probably just make another account and continue pestering me. And look what he made me do. You made me fall now. Damn it. Oh, wait, I still have my lawn jump thing, don't I? Whee! Great. Remember, your flashlight drains power. 
so switch it off when you don't need it. Still, at least the flashlight in this game lasts longer than the flashlight in the sequel. I guess they used up most of the power for the sprint function in that one. Welcome to the Black Mesa target range, where you will receive training in Where did you get an assault rifle? Reloading. Surely the and security force should not have assault launcher. rifles. Please pick up your weapon and advance to the firing station. Okay, I really don't think I should be touching this because I don't think you got this legally. Oh well. Oh yeah, and this is one of the new guns they added. Yeah, they replaced the little MP5 with the gr grenade launcher MP5 with an actual assault rifle, which makes sense to have a grenade launcher on it. Why would you put a grenade launcher on an MP5? You'll I still don't understand every that. target in order to complete the course. But if you miss the first time, don't worry. It will come around again. Try to reload during pauses rather than waiting to run out of ammunition at a critical time. To fire your grenade launcher, use your alternate fire button. Certain targets will break only when hit by grenades. Commencing sequence in five, four. Okay, three, let's blast some bitches! Two, I'm a researcher! This is part of my job! Yeah, this is totally what researchers do. Oh, there you are. Thanks, baby. Okay, stick him up. Give me a kiss or I'll blow your head off. All right, you're a hologram. No wonder you're so icy cold in bed. Your ATV suit comes equipped with an automatic targeting system. You can target something by facing it and pressing the lock on button. To release the target, press the lock on button again. You'll need to lock onto the holographic target and hit it several times to continue. Okay. Watch for the holographic target now. Okay, uh, who's the target? It's you! Yo, bitch, finally I can have my revenge! This is for showing me up at the. At the Congratulations. You have completed the Black Mesa target range. The lock on position will give you an advantage in any combat. Uh, what was I saying? The, the. Please advance to the next area. The October get together. Black, the Black Mesa October get together. Your HEV suit monitors blood oxygen levels, warning you when you need to find an air supply. As you swim through this course, your oxygen levels will begin to drop. At the midpoint, you will be given an opportunity to surface for air. Time for a swim! That's fucking hologram. You will see the blood oxygen indicator on your suit heads-up display returning to its previous level. You are free to swim on to the end of the course. Alright, I was gonna do that anyway, bitch. Seriously, I'm just a fucking race archer. Why am I doing this? This is the charging unit for your hazardous environment suit. Running low on power, step up to any charger and press your use button. Your suit will automatically recharge gradually until the charge unit is depleted. Individual batteries Shut are used to charge. Oh yeah, this thing got a makeover too. So as I was saying, they replaced the MP5. I'm guessing the reason they used the MP5 was just because it uses the same ammo as the pistol. If you pass through fire or steam, you will see a heat damage icon lighting up. Directional indicators at the center of... In that case, it, the M16 is kind of a weird gun to use because it does... Ow, ow. Now you're making me go through this shit. Ow, ow. Ow, ow. God damn it. Fuck it. Why did I sign that contract? the Geiger counter and radiation display. Biohazards are also indicated with the lone These bags. Ah! Ah! Oh god, now I'm not going to be able to have kids anymore. Damn you, Black Mesa. Please advance to the next area. Cause yeah, this M16 uses pistol ammo too. 
Just for the record, I didn't ban that guy because he uh, was expressing his opinion. I just thought he was being uh, insulting me. That was it. Was a, a misunderstanding, I guess. Though I can't. Though he's probably still gonna be an asshole if I unbanned him. So. Lead a security guard to the door to the next room. He will let you back into the transit system. You must approach a guard and press your use button. He will follow you until you face him and press your use button again. I'm okay, lady, and you took my guns away, I see. Thank you. Sure, I'll follow you. Okay, first let me grab some pop. Oh, yeah. Blech. Yes, I will follow you if you wish. And, I, and you're coming with me too. You're my slave now. Come on, open the door. I got shit to do. You're going to have to leave me here, Gordon. Well, fine. Be that way, you puss. Press the use button to engage the train. Move forward and backward to increase or decrease the speed of the train. Press your use button again to disengage from the train. I love these things. These are fun. Train is a Congratulations on completing the Black Mesa Hatchet course. You are now fully certified for use of the HEV Mark IV protective system. So is that what the what this was for? It was all for that freaking suit? weird. I don't think weapons training is required for use of a hazard suit. Okay, let's get to the main meat of the thing. We'll play this on normal, and now we gotta sit through the big, long tram transit sy system sequence. You all know what, if you played this game, you know what I'm talking about. Half-Life. Good morning, and welcome to the Black Mesa Transit System. Unlike this the PC version, we can't even move around. for the security and convenience of the Black Mesa Research Facility personnel. And there's Barney! Hi, Barney! The time is... See you in blue shift. Oh, right, they didn't make that for the PS2. Sorry, buddy. Current topside temperature is... 93 degrees. With an estimated high of... Great office to work in, although we probably the Black Mesa compound with this damn is maintained at a pleasant 68 it. degrees at all times. And a loading screen. Get used to seeing that. This train is inbound from level three dormitories to sector C test labs and control facilities. Why do they have if you like, so many freaking cranes here? Can you just put those all on one side? There's literally nothing state. over on that you side. To return to the central transit hub in Area 9 and board a high security train. If you have not yet submitted your identity to the retinal clearance system, you must report to Black Mesa personnel for processing before you will be permitted into the high security branch of the transit system. And another loading screen. Take a drink every time you see that. If you have something to drink. Due to the high toxicity of material routinely handled in the Black Mesa compound, no smoking, eating, or drinking are permitted within the Black Mesa transit system. Had jokes on her, I got my hip flask with me. Inside the train at all times. Do not attempt to open the doors until the train has come to a complete halt. I'm opening a door. At the I can't platform. stand it anymore. I have to get In the out of here. An emergency. Passengers are to remain seated and await further instructions. This is a cool opening sequence. If it I will is it. To exit the train. Disabled personnel should be. Why the hell is Black Mesa first. have an Apache attack Please helicopter? Stay Seriously. Away from electrified rails and proceed to an emergency station until assistance arrives. Why 
am I the only one on this train? You'd think this would be very busy. Come on, let's hurry up before I get to the shooty stuff. Shooty, shooty, bang, bang. That's the reason everyone plays this game. It's sadly not for the science. A reminder that the Black Mesa Hazard Course Decathlon will commence this evening at. They have a decathlon down here? Do they like the run through the tunnels facility. and stuff? The semi finals for high security will be announced in a separate secure transmission. Remember, more lives. Clearance level three. That means we can't access shit, as you'll soon see. Do you have a friend or relative who would make a valuable That scientist was probably part of another DLC that got cancelled. They were probably called White Coat or something. The are playing as just some random scientist running around going crazy with a fishing gun. Please contact Black Mesa personnel for further information. If you it would be cool if you were able to pilot one of those and fight like the aliens. Or, oops, spoiler alert, there's aliens in this level. In this game. Yes, Kiji, this is the PS2 version. contact our civilian recruitment division. The Black Mesa Research Facility is an equal opportunity in This lady's just rambling on. As I was saying, it would be cool if you could pilot one of those mech things against some of the bigger aliens. Freaking alien style, like, get away from me, you bitch. to all Black Mesa personnel. Regular radiation and biohazard screenings are a requirement of continued employment in the Black Mesa Research Facility. Missing a scheduled urinalysis or radiation checkup is grounds <laughs> for <laughs> nice suit, dumbass. Termination. If you feel you have been out. exposed to radioactive here. or other hazardous materials, in the course oh, of yeah, the dude. Duties, How coin what a coincidence she mentions hazardous materials right as we go over some hazardous work materials. Smart. Work smart. Your future depends on it. Now ah, finally. at Sector C test labs and control facilities. Also, if you turn on the alien mode cheat, you uh don't kill any of these guys, otherwise you'll softlock yourself because you need some of these guys to open the, the doors. Door and wait for the security officer to verify your Yeah, there's identity. a cheat that turns you into an alien Before and makes all the characters the train, speak in alien be sure language. To check your area for personal belongings. Thank you. <laughs> have a very safe and productive day. Just pretend I'm like Gumball from G Amazing World of Gumball. Come on, let me out. I got shit to do, bitch. I make way more than you knew, you know. Everyone says these models are shit, but I think they look good. You gotta open the door. Move it, maggot! Ah, oh, fucking security just for a fucking research area. And another loading screen. What's that, like, seven? Help! <laughs> oh, PS2, bless your heart. You tried your best. Hey! What's up, guys? The free man is here! I had a bunch of messages for you, but we had a system crash about 20 minutes ago, and I'm still trying to find my files. Just one of those days, I guess. They were having some problems down in the test chamber, too, but I think that's all straightened out. They told me to make sure you headed down there as soon as you got into your hazard. All right. Ooh, button. Most of the simulation results are perfectly acceptable, you know. Get away from there, Freeman. I'm expecting an important message. Press it again. Annoy him further. He was an asshole. Fine, fuck you. And yes, I am aware this button will trigger an alarm, but I'm not gonna be that big of an asshole. <sighs> I need to remember to breathe. Hi, black hair man. You're like the least common scientist model in this game, I believe. 
Hello. Hello, Eli Vance clone, who's quite common in the game, because yes, Eli, that is Eli Vance's model. Good morning, Gordon. Oh, you sound kind of annoyed. Did we have a bad history with each other? Do you think we should delay for another recalibration? Oh, there's Suit bo Boy in there. <laughs> Mr. Tacky. Eh. Okay, we can't go there. Fine, fuck you. I don't want to go in your office then. And another loading screen. To be fair, the Xbox 360 had a lot of these in the sequel. No smoking area. This is America, bitch! I can smoke wherever the fuck I want! Ah, hello, Gordon Freeman. It's good to see you. I'll just take a apple, I guess. I hope those containers are nominal. What the hell is all this nominal. stuff? Are these snacks? Are these drinks? Are these, like, all natural drinks? Or are they just giving you actual, like, fruits and veggies and stuff? I'd rather have some soda. Thank you. And a bowl of chicken noodle soup. Oh my god, what are you doing? Oh no. I'm sorry. Someone pissed in there, it looks like. Now, where did I leave that shutdown procedure chart? And I think that's Dr. Magnoshin, or whatever his name is from Half-Life Episode 2. Because he said he got pissed at Gordon because he broke his, uh... Ruined his meal. Just tying your shoes? Yeah, that's why I wear loafers, yeah. loser. There's and here's my locker. Oh, wait, I don't have my suit yet. I better put that on. And there's my suit. And uh, Dr. Cross and Dr. Green already got their suits, which were in these other two things. In Half-Life Decay. Now I can get this. And apparently Gordon has a baby. Probably with Dr. Cross, who broke up with him cruelly. Encyclopedia and a bowling certificate, according to Freeman's mind. Oh, come on! They, re they only have two toilets in the men's locker room? That's kind of low budget. Well, they probably have a good budget, they just didn't devote enough to the people, to their employees. There's another Einstein-looking MF. Come on, open the door. I got shit to do. Let's get to the shooty bits. We're only we're already half an hour into this video. And another load screen. Wonder if I should add a counter to the post video editing. Oh, and here are the cool spinny things. I said here are the cool spinny things. Spin! Rotate to a different message. There we go. Working as a team. Technology! They, the, the other, the rest of the world fears it. We, we enjoy it. Just use this here perfectly safe elevator. Nothing bad will ever happen to this elevator. We'll probably go through another loading screen soon. <laughs> Did you say hi? Sorry, I have the volume on, though. I can I have hearing problems. And laser tubes! The best way to, p to contain your lasers. Hey there, buddy. Well, fine. And another loading screen. That's like 10 now, right? <laughs> Oh, sorry, I didn't know it would look. Hello there. Ah, Gordon. Here you are. We just sent the... Hello, Dr. Kellner knockoff. We boosted the anti-match spectrometer to 105%. Bit of a gamble, but we need the extra resolution. The administrator is very concerned that we get a conclusive analysis of today's sample. I gather they went to some lengths to get it. They're waiting for you, Gordon. In the test chamber. 
Yeah, whatever, dudes. Just let me in. I got shit to do. Where did they find that crystal anyway? I'm sure there was like an expanded universe or something where they revealed what, what happened to it. On second thought, maybe the budget wasn't all that high. But stuff like that is happening. Now we go in the screw elevator. It's like a regular elevator, except it has uses screws to move. Some more laser tubes. I think those are laser tubes. Come on, let me in. Chop, chop, chop. chop, chop. I'm afraid we'll be deviating a bit from standard analysis. Are those shirts like required? Does yes. do they have to all wear blue shirts? Can they not like wear a, a like a red shirt sometimes with their lab coats? Is that against policy? Actually, the most unstable. Now, now, if you follow standard insertion procedures, everything will be fine. I don't know how you can say that. Although I will admit that the possibility of a resonance cascade scenario is extremely. Gordon doesn't need to hear all this. He's a highly trained. Yeah, you hear that? I'm highly trained, even though I only have level 3 clearance and can't access any of those damned retinal scanners. Gordon, we have complete confidence in you. Well, go ahead. Let's let him in now. Yeah, well, I was playing as an alien. I killed these guys, too, and I couldn't proceed because of those stupid scanners. scares. Another loading screen? Hello? Testing. Testing. <coughs> Go good. Everything seems to be in order. All right, Gordon. Your suit should keep you comfortable through all this. The specimen will be delivered to oh, you. Oh, look, we can do moment. fancy graphics. If you would be so good as to climb up and start the rotors, we can bring the anti-mass spectrometer to 80% and hold it there until the carrier arrives. Okay, there he goes. Now I just gotta wait for my for Gordon's bitch ex girlfriend, Doctor Cross, to deliver the crystal to him. Very good. Also, don't go up to the beam; it will kill you. Games need some build-up sometimes, but geez, this game really took it to the next now. level. Gordon, we cannot predict how long the system can operate at this level, nor how long the reading will take. Please work as quickly as you can. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Just give me my shit so I can push it up there and cause all the crazy all shit to happen. To one, uh, it's probably not a problem. Probably, but I'm showing a small discrepancy. Well, no, it's well within acceptable bounds again. Sustaining sequence. I fucking finally. That the sample is ready, Gordon. It should be coming. Cold-hearted bitch finally got her job done. Okay. Super power plus oh, dude. Okay, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna get, get very far away from that. Hide up here. This is the safest place, right? Oh! It's not, it's not shutting down. It's not. Oh! Yeah, you probably push her, put some more safety glass or something in front of that. Oh, dear. and here come the aliens. It's fine, I'm safe up here, right? And. Oh! I got my flashlight on. I still can't see anything, though. That's shitty. Oh well. Ugh. I'm going back up on the ladder if I can find it. Oh, there it is. Ugh. Ah, not, oh my god, I'm in a world covered in snot. Ugh, nasty. Oh, no, it's here. Well, at least my flashlight works here. Hello, Mr. Aliens. Can I have a plush made of you? Because you are kind of cute. 
to hug and stuff. Hello? Hello, Mr. Alien? Oh no, the giant laser, death laser thing we use is gone. I thought that ladder broke too. I guess half the catwalk is broken. Oh well. Oh no, and the skies are dead. The only time these things really work is when they're broken. Open the door, damn it. Oh, open it. From what I've heard, this guy actually does resuscitate this guard eventually. Come on, you can do it, champ. Save his life. Come on, put your back into it. Come on, you gotta breathe into his mouth, too. Don't you know how CPR works? You're a bloody scientist. Aren't you? Maybe he doesn't get resuscitated in the PS2 version. Well, anyways, later I got a stream to do. Ugh! Well, his corpse isn't getting recovered for a burial. Thankfully, the screw elevator still works. That's why we need more screw elevators. Hey, Eli! Why didn't they listen? Why didn't they warn them? I never thought I'd see a resonance cascade, let alone create one. Gordon, you're alive! Thank God for that hazard suit! I'm afraid to move him and all our phones are out! Please, get to the surface as soon as you can and let someone know we're stranded down here. You'll need me to activate the retinal scanners. I'm sure the rest of the science team will gladly help you. Guy, yeah, come with me? Yes, let's okay. go. And the head crabs! It... You're, you're not phased by them at all, Eli? Well, it's no wonder you lose your leg eventually. Wouldn't you like to get one of these blood samples under a microscope? Aren't the, isn't this just human blood? Fuck, oh, what's wrong with you? Ugh! Green electricity! Ick! Ugh! I'm just gonna hope that crouching gets me under here. Hey, it, it worked! Unlike that crappy rubber hose rampage game, that's a the crappy not cra cuphead knockoff that uses Mickey Mouse. This is why he's on. Oh god, it's the first time in the game, and I, I'm unarmed. <laughs> and this is why you don't put lasers in tubes. Ugh. Actually, I better save my game real quick. I gotta do hard saves because those quick saves delete themselves. Come on, hurry it up. I got shit to do. Are we done? Come here. Jeez. Maybe that's why people don't play the PS2 version that much. Ugh! And this poor guard's corpse is gonna get violated. I can't feel my legs! And why is there a crowbar here? There's no toolbox or anything around here. Why is this here? Don't you make that noise at me. Whoops. Sorry! That's why you're not supposed to use elevators in emergencies. Unless it's a screw elevator. Ah, don't shoot me! Oh my god! Oh, I don't know. I, maybe they're mutated scientists? Haven't you seen a movie before? Yeah, you just come with me and shoot anything that it that doesn't have a nose or whatever the f fuck. Oh no, they broke the spinny sign! Oh, you bastard alien fuckers. 
And here's your twin brother. He unfortunately died in the line of duty. Still with me, random render cop? Good. And here are more of these dudes. I think they're called Mawmen. Does he even have to one reload? Less horror in the world. I guess not. He has unlimited ammo. Well, this guy hasn't mutated for some reason. Well, now he never will. Sorry, buddy. I ha that was for the good of humanity. Did they fix the pot? Nope! They broke the microwave. Ah, damn it! Oh, free! Free soda! Yeah! Hell yeah! <laughs> Where's my security guard? I know he's right there. Let's just break into this guy's locker, because he just has some random pistol ammo lying around, so I'm assuming he's a security guard or a scientist who is planning on some, uh, planning on a rampage. And someone knocked over my thermos bottle, you fuckers! And my diploma! Stay out of my locker! Some people can't respect other people's things. I say as I just robbed someone else's locker. Dude, come on! We got shit to do! We got more monsters to kill! Get over here! Come on! Another loading screen. Unfortunately, the adventures of Gordon and random security guard number three are probably, are sadly going to come to an end because security guard three cannot come with us soon. He will shoot those head camps for us though. I never got your message now, did you, douchebag? That should fix it. Yay, we can leave now. Hi there. Stay back, Gordon! I refuse to believe that was my fault. That, that platform was going to collapse anyway, right? Anyway, Mr. Security Guard number three, I'm afraid we must part ways for now. Thank you so much for your help. Here's actually an achievement in uh, Fear 3 for killing a bunch of guys with, uh, with a crowbar. That's a reference to this game. Punch him, yeah, kick on it, kick him, stomp on him, or just do that. Yeah! <laughs> nope. Yeah, that's what happens when you let your guard down. My flashlight can't go through the glass for some reason. That's kind of stupid. Oh, he looks like he's having too much fun. Sir, you know that's not good for your eyes, right? I mean, you don't have any eyes, but... There, I, get, I put you to sleep. Now the fucking lights are broken. What? They really didn't have a budget for this facility, did they? Oh, hello there. And another change they made is that they turned the Glock 17 into a Beretta. Which I thought think is cooler, actually. So now we can get through this restricted area now, because no one's in our way. Now we can start blasting bitches. Ow! Fucking door! Hello! Uh. It's okay, Mr. Scientist Man. Oh! Well, I can't save him, sorry. Yeah, just stand there and get 
showered by the limbs of your dead c c colleague. You'll be fine, though, right? Okay. We'll send a rescue team after you. It won't take long for this game to get hard, I can assure you. Stupid dwarf. Ah! Rude! What's with the green lighting in here? Very distracting. Ah! Stop biting me! Well, it's a good thing they left those precious chemicals there. Hello, Mr. Scientist Man. I'll need your help in a second, but let me secure the area first. Okay, those aren't explosive. However, those are explosive, those little c cylindrical things. They're called grenades. Ah, oh, yes. You gotta come with me? Okay, good. I need you to open that door. That's all I need you for. You're completely useless to me afterwards. Do you still say there's nothing to chaos, Derek? Thank you. Not good ammo as well. And some first aid. Juice. Magical green juice. That fills in the bullet, those numerous scratches on me. Well, anyway, goodbye. I'm just gonna leave you in there. Hopefully the rescue team finds you. Where am I going next? In here, I think. And I'm pretty sure something breaks through that door. Barrel in the way. You shouldn't be able to hit me when it's in the way. Stupid Vortigaunt thing. Ooh, ammo. Another Dr. Kellner clone. Hello. Oh. Ah. The lock on features pretty nice. Uh, I'm going to stay here and wait for my colleagues. Okay, most of them are dead, but suit yourself, buddy. Normally, characters who hide like cowards like that usually do. Just a fair warning. Sifting through the human waste of this facility? I'm assuming that's what this is. Oh dear, why didn't me blow, 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 blow? There's human fecal matter in my mouth now. <laughs> oh, hello there. another loading screen. That's like 17 now, right? <laughs> ah, this is a fun part. Gotta save the game again, though, which is very time-consuming for some reason. Yes, overwrite the data. Hey, look, it's, a, it's me. I got a fancy beard. I kind of look like Raz from Overblood. You probably don't even know what game that is, do you? <laughs> you have ammo? Yes. Lots of ammo. Activate the elevator. Get attacked by head crabs. Thankfully they all fall, if we dodge them, they fall into the grinder that's, for some reason, put at the bottom of this elevator. Who put a fucking grinder at the bottom of an elevator that's used by normal people? It's a huge safety violation. Maybe that's why they don't have a budget. They were paying off so many lawsuits and crap, they had to cut corners. Hell, yay! Ah, 
fine, I lost that for you. For you. Sorry, Mr. Whatever you're called. Yeah, the grinder's down there. Whoa! You need to lose some weight, Tubbs. You broke the whole bridge! Uh, uh oh. Hello? Anyone up there? Can you toss a rope down or something and maybe some splints or something? Or or I could just load the game. It's a damn good thing I, I just saved it. You say load successful and then you have to immediately go back and do a loading screen. That seems somewhat uh, hypocritical, don't you think? No matter. Sorry if this wasn't a very entertaining stream. I know it's kind of dull. Screw you, you're a Didn't even break the box that time. Watch out for chubs here. Hopefully we don't die this time. Nichols. They made a return in the game, and oh, Algamon of Alchemy said you're finally on. Thanks, buddy. Oh, those things really don't like her crabs. Stupid boxes, get out of my way. Gah! Don't you know I, uh, who I am? I am Gordon Freeman. I am the best fucking scientist this place ever had. And these are bull squids, they just spit goo at you. These were originally going to appear in Half-Life 2, but they got cut, along with a bunch of other stuff. Like those cool combine guards that had the big, heavy armor, and they used the weird little eyes sensors. They actually put those in the crappy Hunt Down the Freeman side game, but they got changed a lot. And it was Hunt Down the Freeman. You do not want to play that game. Boxes in the water. That's how we solve puzzles. Ugh. Ugh. And in time, I think they eventually come down here. It's four bullets to kill these. Platforming in first person. Oh, damn it. Missed. Oh, I didn't even need to do that. Yep, inject me with some stuff. I'm going to have so many puncture wounds from that. Yep, another loading screen. That's like 20 now, right? Ah, and the room with no point, because behind there, there was just a empty wall. 
So there's absolutely no fucking point to this room. Okay, better save the game again. You don't have to access the memory card again after I've saved already. We, I saved the game. Yep, there's just a, a wall there. there they, they, these boxes don't even go anywhere. What, are we getting another loading screen already? Was that room really that memory intensive? Yes, it was, apparently. <laughs> oh, PS2, bless your heart. And we're on the other side of this now. Oh goody, we get to shoot some more stuff now. I know that's not something we should be happy about in real life, but this is fiction, of course. Office complex. Jeez, this really is a crappy ass flashlight. You can barely tell it's on. Ugh! Door's closing up. If we go in there, a guy gets eat, pulled into the ceiling by the barnacle, and if we... and can't save him if we go in there right now, so we're going to not do that so we can save him, because we're a nice fellow. At least the flashlight is somewhat useful in here. Hey, bitches, over here! Yeah, come on, jump at me, I dare ya. gun in there, so I assume you could get in there, but I ain't gonna risk it. I'm a chicken shit. At least I can get some more fresh fruit from this fresh fruit vending machine. Gordon, if I'd known it was you, I'd have let you in. Everyone's heading for the service. But I think they're crazy not to stay put. Someone is bound to come by and rescue us. Oh yeah, I keep telling yourself that. That's definitely gonna make it come true. I predicted all of it, you know. <laughs> Anyway, you guys have fun in here with that one last barnacle, because I ain't wasting ammo on it. Now, I've got to turn the power off, too, so you won't have any light. Bye! Hopefully someone will find you. Oop. And this one has a... this wire's on a different circuit, so it's still electrified. Why are these locked? You don't want to keep these locked in the event of an emergency. Why doesn't this door have a handle? Huh? God, this place is so ridiculous. Oh, he broke through the breakable wall. I thought he did, but... Hello? You know, I break through the door now? Okay, good. I was getting impatient. And they keep just re pistol bullets and uh, readily available in the storage room. I know I'm supposed to go in the room with the electrified water, but I'm kind of lazy right now, so I'm going to go over here and see what this thing is. Ugh. There we go. 
Oh, right, this place. Hello, sir. Hello, Mr. Officer. Good. You want, you want that guy to survive because he'll let on. you in. Thank you. Now I get me a shotgun. Well, that's just the ammo. The shotgun's over here. I thought I got a shotgun in here, but I guess I don't get the shotgun. I just get the ammo. Is there one over there? No. Is there one down here? Battery. And car batteries are compatible with my ATV suit. Oh, here it is. You don't even have to save the security guard. You can just take the shotgun and leave him to his fate. Although you wouldn't get as much ammo. Roger that. Let's run like hell. Now we got a, a, a fellow uh, combat in arms. Okay, sorry. I don't know what I'm saying. Though that's actually a good place to take all the survivors, since it's easily defendable. He coming? Can your pathfinding not get past this box? How about now? Okay, good. Okay, I'll secure this area. Okay, I'll unlock these doors from the other side, because you, un you unfortunately lack the programming knowledge to... To get through this little gap. They weren't that advanced yet. In fact, I think they still aren't. Oh wait, the light switch is what's causing it. There we go. Oop. Get out of my face! Ow! Get out of my face! Get out of my face! Get out of my face! Why did I not see that coming? And I haven't saved like for like ever, so that's pretty bad. I was like, oh, I'll be fine. Nothing bad's gonna happen. Bolt! There goes my head. This is why autosave was invented. here again. Let's take it from the top, less sucking. Whew. <laughs> I've lost two viewers. <laughs> no, no, I don't blame them. We actually don't have to kill these head crabs, I waste ammo, because the electricity kills them all. Mm -hmm. Grilled head crab. Love the smell of grilled head crab in the morning, motherfucker. I didn't think they would let me shoot through here. Anyway, you little head crabs can stay in there, I don't give a fuck. Yep, it's me again. Get some cucumbers from this machine. Hello. Go ahead and yeah, 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 I know you didn't. You'd let me in your guys. Bunch of wimps. Someone is bound to come by and rescue us. Get out of here. Come on, Mr. Claw Guy, get out of there. I'm gonna go over here and fight this head crab while I'm waiting. Oh, 
Come on, hurry it up. We got shit to do. Okay, got the bullets. Now we just smash the boxes. My security guard, buddy. Security guard number four. Go through a loading screen. Ogma of Alchemy asked, Hey, Leon, you play Doom? Yes, actually, I've played Doom 3. That's like my favorite one because it's got so much ammo in it. And I've also tried the 2016 one, and that one's lots of fun. I'm just not very good at that one. The first two I'm I'm pretty decent at. And, uh, yeah, I played a bunch of the Doom games. I played Quake 4, too. I really like Quake 4. Never played the first one. I played a bit of the second one, Quake. And... Anyway, let's save our security guard friend. Sure. And Algma of Alchemy told me, you should try my house.wave, a Doom map. Yeah, I saw Brent Daniel and a bunch of other guys try that. I've always wondered what that is. I always thought it was like a creepy... Ow! Ow! Why are you shooting me? I wasn't shooting you! Whoa. That was close. What the fuck, man? I thought we were pros. Why were you shooting me? we should go any further. This doesn't look like... trying to save your worthless ass. Jeez. Not sure I want you to come with me now. Yeah, let's go. Okay, you calm down. Yeah, I've seen some people play my house dot wave. I've actually You coming or Oh, this box is in the way. Yeah, I've, I'll have to try watch someone play that. See you later. Okay, I'll see. I'll catch up with you. I'm going to save my game this time, so I'm. Because I'm probably going to die again of, from something unexpected, because that was very stupid. You'd think I'd remember that. I've gotten through this game before, but it was with cute code breaker codes of the cheat code system. So I don't really know what... if I could get through it, because it does get pretty hard later on. Okay, back into the vent of head murderous head crabs. Come on. Three. And Ogma of Alchemy said fair about the doom, probably about the doom maps or something. Hey, this time let's stay crouched to avoid getting decapitated. break through. Besides, he has unlimited ammo, so... Man, did you see that shot? Come on, buddy, let's go! Oh my god, are you... Is your pathfinding broken again? Come on. Open the damn door, Gordon! Oh my god, what is wrong with this guy? Look, come here. Ah. Okay, see you later. Oh, can I not? Well, he's not coming with me anyway, so... Oh, wait, yes, he is. 
Unfortunately, he's gonna have to wait here. Now, I wonder if those boys could have made a bigger mess. Yeah, I'll wait here. Because unfortunately, I have to crawl up in the ceiling again. I said I have to crawl up in the ceiling again. Oh, there we go. And the mach the sentry gun, because the, instead of protecting us, these damn guns try to kill us all. Just some more budget cuts from your good old Black Mesa. Luckily, their power supply was right there. Oh no, he killed one of my colleagues. Oh no. What the fuck is that? Is that someone's... Is that a fifth grader's homework? What the shit? path that can let my security guard friend in now. No, but there is more shot, shoddy ammo. Okay, we might live longer if we work together. Oh my god, are you stuck again? Dude, come on, let's go. Let's go kill some aliens. quick save. Sadly, probably gonna have to stop soon, but we'll keep going for a little bit longer. Besides, he'll be very useful in this next section. Ow! Oh dear. Save me, security guard Steve. Here come more of them. Do you not see them? Oh, right, I think there's another auto turret up here. Oh, it's another buddy. That's one less horror in the world. It's your brother, security guard number five. You coming? Finding. Maybe this is why everyone hates the PS2 version. The pathfinding shit. You go on without me. Let's get the hell out of here. Did you see something move? Ah, one big happy family has been reunited. Well, there are still some more uh, security guards that we need to find, but. And half of them are probably dead, but we got a few of them back together, at least. There was actually one point in this where I took all the survivors I could up to the highest level I could go with all with them following me, and it was like causing the game to lag to shit. <sighs> that was a fun little experiment. Okay, I'll cover you. A small arm me, which is good because this area is full of vortigons. Nope. Tough ass monsters if they could pull two grown men in the vents. Excuse me, sir. Yep. These little fuckers hide around every corner in here. Good old spas. Such a popular guy, and it actually didn't see that much use in real life. Oh! Well, this 
place isn't as tough as I thought it would be. Oh. Guys, can I get through there? You're kind of in the way. Oh, guys. This is why you're supposed to make allied characters intangible so you could walk through them like in Left 4 Dead, because they do shit like that. I like softlock myself. I'll be happy to survive this with all my parts. Uh oh. Oh, okay, good. No softlock. <laughs> Got another one. Very enthusiastic about what's happening. Freeman. Who would have thought you'd still be alive? Well, it's because of these guns, buddy. Kick ass American engineering. This shit wouldn't happen in some place like China. Oh, looks like more pistol bullets. Someone else was planning another workplace rampage. Ugh. Guys were a big hey, help there. See that shot. I can see you. Oh, look what you made me do. You made me smash the drink machine. I couldn't hear you because the volume was so low. I'll stay here and guard this area, okay? I'll wait here and help anyone else. And I'm pretty sure there's a turret up there. Yep, there it is. I don't want my friends to die. And problem solved. Who okay, says you're gonna die alone? You aren't gonna die. We're all gonna make it out of here like Ow! For God's sake, don't shoot me when there's something behind me. Oh, I guess you both to die. Sorry. Bastards! He had 15 kids! He was only two days from retirement. Why didn't you help? this. Your friend died. Dude, are you coming or not? Come on. All ass. Ah, the pathfinding in this game. I swear. Come on. Let's go. Move your ass. Come on. Yeah, these will just be careful with that blood when you're like taxidermying these things or whatever that term is, because I'm pretty sure that's corrosive or poisonous. Hey, Mr. Freeman. Hey, what the hell are you doing down here? Get topside. I hear troops are coming in to save us. Yeah, let's go. And now it's security guard number seven. All the goodies are locked away in the office. That's it, you can do it. Stand back. Got 
one. Well, it's I pretty much exhausted this stream for now. You're all probably super bored by now, so I'm going to put it in and do it here. So uh, thank you all for coming. I'm pretty. I hope the stream went good this time. I don't think it actually died at all this time. So this OBS Elgato combination method, as convoluted as it is, is apparently working. So I want to thank you all for coming out tonight and uh, have a good night. And thank you all for supporting me. I really appreciate it when you come. So have a good night, guys. Sleep well.